back in ETV. How you doing guys? Welcome to Balcony TV LA. I am lucky enough to be sitting here with Drake Bell. How are you, man? Doing good, man. Excellent. Normally I would welcome you to the show, but this is actually your house. Yeah. You have us and uh, we're honored to be here. So, um, dude, you're in your own house. You're feeling comfortable. What song are you going to be playing for us? Uh, this is called I Know. Great. Take it away. All right. <clears throat> Helicopter season. All alone, guess again, you've been known to take the hand of any man who will fill your fantasy. You there, a big mistake. You're the pride of every fake that comes around this messed up town. And you know, and I know, and I know, it's always better when you know, and I know, and I know, it's always better when you find out we've been lying, cheating. Just because you're a fan doesn't mean you've joined the band and found a way to make them think that you're a star, silly girl, only I can fool the world, it's plain to see, cause you're just like me, and you know, and I know, and I know. It's always better when you know, and I know, and I know. It's always better when you find out we've been lying, cheating, baby. Give me a sign, give me a reason, make up your mind. Thank you so much. That was Drake Bell with the song I Know. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Come sit down. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Let's get yeah it's on. A so, we actually have the host of Balcony TV Melbourne, which is Cassie, joining us. And you have an Australian invasion happening right now, man. It's so, awesome. we're just crashing your house. This is comfy. This is cozy. Tell me, man. So, you're a busy guy. Yeah. You're an actor. You're a muso. What's going on with you right now? Um, I'm about to record a new record in Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, I just got signed to Surf Dog Records. It's really exciting. Uh, Brian Setzer Congrats. is going to be executive producing it, who is one of my all-time favorite musicians. So uh, that collaboration is, uh, is going to be really exciting. Perfect. And what's the, um, I mean, is this a pretty open-ended thing? Have you got a real plan, or it's just going to get there and um, see what It's going to be, uh, we're actually going to kind of go throwback uh, 50s and uh, do um, kind of a rockabilly uh, uh, meets like the Jetsons, you know, it's going right. to be, be kind of cool. Mix it up. Yeah. Excellent. And how are you, ba I mean, are you doing anything, um, are you balancing this with, with acting at the moment or are you just purely focused on um, music? You know, I'm really focusing on music and uh, I mean, there's still, you know, still working on some stuff uh, in the acting world, but right now, I mean, my record's coming up here so so soon, so yeah. I'm really, that's where my, that's where my head's kind of focused. Perfect. Yeah. Cassie, what are you, what are you, I know, I you know we're questions. sharing the mic. Yeah. I love the whole rockabilly world and, and I mean, working with Brian Setzer is incredible. How did you connect with him? I've just been a huge fan with him for so many years, and uh, it was it was actually funny because I would just 
get backstage, I'd get backstage pass and I'd meet him here and there and here and there. And then I started working on a show that his kids liked. And so he'd recognize me when I'd come backstage and stuff and we kind of built up a rapport. And uh, one day I just kind of pitched it to him and uh, it was at his Christmas concert and I was backstage and I said, you know, we should do something. And he was like, yeah, that'd be cool. I'm like, yeah, right. But it actually came to fruition. So now we're, you know, we're booking the studio and we're actually going to do it and it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Wow, man. Yeah. And spending time in your house today, uh, thank you again for <laughs> inviting us here, but there's an amazing selection of music memorabilia here, and again, you've just been jamming out, uh, <laughs> warming up for the last few hours, playing some classic songs. There's a lot of Beatles, and there's a lot of, of old-school influence on the walls. So how did you get into, because you're quite young, so how did you get into such an old style of music? Um, I don't know. I, you know, my dad always kept it on Kareth 101, and I just kind of, you know, I loved that kind of music. I grew up loving Elvis and the Beach Boys and the Beatles, and, uh, you know, and then, then when I got introduced to, like, Brian Setzer music and, you know, the, the rockabilly stuff and Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran and all mm -hmm. that stuff, it was just so much cooler than what I was hearing on the radio when I was a kid, you know, so... I mean, because it was flooded with, like, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and all that stuff was on the radio, and I'm like, what, man, come on, you know, I don't want to listen to Britney Spears, like, <laughs> I want to rock, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, and, and to find all that, you kind of have to go in the Wayback Machine and, like, yeah. rediscover all the stuff that, because that's what's all, that, that's the great music, you know? Excellent. So do you see yourself as, I guess, being a voice of bringing this music to a younger audience again? Because you do have this younger fan base from your acting career. Do you find that you're going to then be that new voice for them? Well, I hope so. I mean, you know, it's uh, there's not really any. It, it's it's actually starting to kind of change. I feel on the radio, but there's just not any like really cool old school rock and roll, you know. And I, I just uh, that's what I love. So bring back Sun Records. I love Sun Records. Yeah, exactly. So me, you know, I'm that's what like... I'm talking about. You know. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, perfect. All right, man. Well, uh, thank you so much. It's been Drake Bell. It's been Cassie from Australia, all the way out here, special guest. Thanks a lot. You've been yeah. watching Balcony TV Los Angeles. My name is Xavier. Catch you next time. Balcony TV.